and we'll get started now. Welcome everybody to the info session for the Climate Solutions Generator. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, we're really excited about the program this year um, and really excited to talk to you about it today. Um, so first we wanted to introduce um, the team. Um, so I'm seeing, I think everybody on here, if you all just want to unmute yourself really quickly in the order on the PowerPoint um, and just introduce yourself. Hi, I'll start. My name is Ben Soltoff. I am the Environmental Innovation Manager at CBay, Environmental Innovation Fellow at Sci City. I'm an alum of both the School of Management and the, the School of the Environment, and I've been uh, involved in this program now. This is my, my second year. Uh, I'm really excited for this info session. The first time we've done an info session for the program, really excited to share all of this with you so you can potentially get involved in the spring. Great. Hi, everybody. I'm Peter Boyd, a uh, lecturer at YSC and also a resident fellow at CBay. Um, I've been involved in this, I think it was sort of through a few iterations now. Um, so, so excited to be a supporter, a supporter here and uh, sort of co contribute whenever, whenever it's, uh, it's needed and welcome. It's great. It's great to see this again and, uh, and an info session as well. Great stuff. Hi everyone, I'm Annalise. I'm a second year Masters of Environmental Man Management student at YSC. I am the Climate Solutions Advisor, um, helping plan the Climate Solutions Generator. Last year I coordinated the program and really loved um, that job and working with the different teams and with Ben and Peter. So I'm looking forward to working on it again this year with hopefully all of you. And hi everyone, I'm Jackie Ruggiero. I'm a second year joint degree with SOM and YSE and I'm one of the two coordinators for the program this year and really excited to see how it all plays out in the spring. Hi everyone, thanks for joining. I'm Victoria Mansfield. I'm a first year YSE student um, specializing in business and the environment and I'm one of the CSG coordinators and really looking forward to this program. So we have an introductory trailer video to show you all of that. Um, a Sci City student employee named Victoria Winter kindly put together for us. So you can go ahead and start that. It looks like the sound isn't working on the video. Is it possible for whoever sharing to share the computer sound? Yes, is it working now or no? Hurricanes. That's it. Other natural now it is. These impacts harm human health and livelihoods and perpetuate injustices. It's clear that the climate crisis is one of the greatest threats that we face as a society and as a planet. But together, we can work toward mitigating climate change and building resilience. Complex problems, like climate change, require collaborative solutions that differ from what's been tried before. That's why innovation is an important piece of the puzzle to create a world where everyone can thrive. Climate innovators recognize that climate change is not only an environmental problem, but rather an opportunity for people with a range of skill sets to work together. In addressing climate change, we have an opportunity to solve a complicated challenge by examining it through different lenses and disciplines. The Climate Solutions Generator is a CBay Sci City intensive that offers Yale the opportunity to join a passionate and inspired community of peers who are eager to address climate change. As part of this community, they will engage with key challenges and opportunities for climate change innovation. This program provides a mix of guest speakers and lectures, along with teamwork. During a series of sessions, students will come up with a climate innovation consider how it can be implemented. The Climate Solutions Generator is open to all Yale students who want to make a positive impact in regards to climate change. Both those who may feel overwhelmed and uncertain of where to start or how to make an impact, as well as those who already have a climate change idea and want a supportive environment to work. In the past, student teams have come up with climate solutions ranging from greening the National Park Service to growing kelp for sustainable food sequestration to developing apps that help consumers make more climate-friendly choices. Whether you are interested in sustainable fashion, green engineering, land management, or simply learning more about climate change, the Climate 
Climate Solutions Generator can be the ideal environment for you to explore your ideas and expand your skill set. Apply today to start your journey. Hey, thanks for watching. So we can move on to the next slide. Um, we're really grateful to have George Moore here. He participated in the program last year and is a joint SOM YSC student and he's here to give a testimonial. So hi George, um, thanks so much for taking the time to share your experiences. Um, why don't we kick off with um, you sharing a bit about why you decided to participate in the program. Yeah, thanks. So yeah, Jackie asked me to kind of share, you know, why I decided to do it and what what I got out of it and how I think that might help me going forward. And then just kind of advice. So as, a, as far as why I did it, obviously that the little video kind of nailed a lot of the points of why to do it. I don't know about, you know, everyone comes back to school for different reasons. I, I'm back here to make decarbonization and climate change a part of whatever I do next. So I was looking for ways to get you know, involved on that outside of the classes. There's no climate change solution class that you can make maybe the case you should get some credit for this. Um, so that's why I decided to do it. Um, it seemed like a good way to work, you know, with peers on, you know, kind of ideating. And I thought maybe also I wanted to get involved with the startup competitions this year um, or, in this, or in the spring um, going forward. I'm a second year joint degree, so I have one more year still too. And um, so yeah, so that's what kind of why basically. And then, yeah, so what did I get? You know, you're gonna work in a diverse team. I had, you know, undergraduate computer programmers and environmental scientists and biochem majors, like kind of a, you know, wide range of uh, majors and backgrounds on the team. So you're gonna work in a diverse group, you know, like you're used to doing in all your coursework if you have group projects, but it's, uh, you know, it's outside the classroom. You're not getting graded. So, so, you know, it's kind of a chance to work on those skills and managing a team and, and working like that. So that's, that's one real tangible skill you get out of it. Another thing you can get out of it is, uh, you know, if you're applying for jobs and you're putting down activities you participated in a while here, you know, put it down and put down if you did, like I did the Duke Energy Case Competition. So that's down in kind of my activities. And I've had interviewers ask me about those activities. And, um, you know, it's a good chance to talk about working in a team, thinking about these problems, um, stuff like that. So let's see what else did I jot down in my notes here. Um, so advice, I guess I'd say if you want to engage with your peers and classmates and work on some of these problems, um, you know, there's no one solution, obviously, to climate change. So you get in and you kind of pick where your group wants to focus on and you, you know, you try to come up with a solution that might you know, ease one aspect of, you know, climate change or sustainability in that sector. So it's a good chance to, to do that. And I guess I would treat it kind of like a, um, you know, almost like a case competition, though it's not a competition and there's no case prompt, the case is climate change. So it's up to you. And the last piece I'd say is to really get out of it. You're going to get out of it what you want to get out of it. So if you just kind of want to attend and maybe listen to speakers or something, it's maybe not the best thing because the idea is to really work together and want to work together. If you want to kind of watch something, you know, there's plenty of stuff on YouTube and Netflix. So there's a chance to work with your peers uh, at school here. So yeah, that's all. <laughs> Great, thanks so much for sharing. All right, next slide. So an introduction to the Climate Solutions Generator um, mentioned in the trailer, but to reiterate, um, it's a joint CBAY uh, Sci City workshop series intensive that offers Yale students the opportunity to join a passion, passionate and inspired community in which they will engage with the key challenges and opportunities for climate change innovation and green COVID recovery. Um, it's developed for students who want to make a positive impact in regards to climate change, but may feel overwhelmed and uncertain of where to start or how to make an impact. So you don't need any prior experience, just an interest in climate solutions and enthusiasm. Um, during the program, um, students will work in small groups to come up with an innovative climate solution. Um, it can range from entrepreneurial ideas to policy design to social innovation, innovations. And a bit later in the session, Annalise is gonna share some past projects that students have worked on. All right, logistics slide. 
Um, so this program is six weeks and it consists of skill building workshops and guest speakers. Um, it'll run from February 3rd through March 11th with a session zero on January 27th. So um, for the session zero workshop, the content's very familiar to first year YSC students who are currently in perspective. So um, these students can opt out of it unless they want a refresh. Um, the sessions will be on Wednesdays from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. Um, Eastern Time, uh, with the final session on Thursday, March 11th for final presentations. Um, it's going to be held over Zoom this spring, and each, week, each week will be structured with a lecture and panel at the beginning to cover the topic of the week, followed by a break with optional socializing, because um, we know it's a long time over Zoom, and um, finished with time for your group to work together on your project. Slide, please. So, as mentioned a bit earlier, the session zero is focused on purpose and priorities um, and an introduction to systems thinking, which is similar to what's in perspectives right now for YSC students. Um, session one focuses on introductions to each other and climate change and really thinking about the different problems and solutions. Um, session two is called Centering Justice, so it's focused on environmental and climate justice and using those frameworks and developing solutions. Um, session three is identifying challenges and tools for addressing problems, so we're really excited to have an alumni panel of entrepreneurs to share about how they transform their ideas into action and reality. And session four is called Funding a Plan. Um, so this one will give you some tools and resources to fund your plan. Session five is communicating your plan. Um, so that one's focused on how to effectively communicate. And then session six and seven will both happen during the same week. And these are just focused on finalizing and presenting your plan. So next slide, please. Awesome. Thanks, Victoria. Um, what we hope that you will gain out of this program, I think George did a great job of um, giving a little testimonial to that, but we really hope that you'll gain skills and tools that will empower you to approach the problem, the incredibly complex problem of climate change through a systems thinking lens. Um, we hope you'll explore your personal values as a change maker and identify those skill sets that are your strongest for making change. Uh, we hope that this uh, will help you develop a network within a community of innovators. The way this program is set up, it's um, really community based and you will meet so many other people who care about climate change through this program. And with you, the teams that you'll be working with, you'll design a framework for a climate change solution. Then you will pitch that idea and it's a very early stage idea. We don't expect um, super advanced stage things to come out of this, but simple um, early stage ideas, you're gonna pitch those to a panel, panel of climate, climate innovation experts and receive constructive feedback um, from those experts. And then you'll do a Q&A with the crowd. Um, and then you'll create a tangible summary of the process of ideating the solution to provide a foundation for next steps in developing the solution. Um, this summary could be published in something like GreenBiz or a Yale publication. And you can go to the next slide. So I just wanna share some examples that some teams developed last year. Um, one was um, National Parks, America's Utopian Carbon-Free Experience. And this team identified um, the National Park Service as um, a big area full of potential for decarbonization and being an example um, for public low carbon infrastructure and also like leaning into that American experience of going to a national park and um, trying to decarbonize the infrastructure there. You can go to the next slide. The, another example is food carbon impact and on uh, this team, um, saw an issue with um, the carbon footprint of food delivery apps, um, namely the food that is ordered. And so they were inspired by Snack Pack's reward system in which you can order food and gain points. And the more points you have, basically 
um, you get deals. And they thought that they create an idea that food apps should give points for carbon friendly foods. So like plant based options, etc. Um, in order to incentivize low carbon food choices. And then you can go to the next slide. And then another team created um, an idea for something called Bula Pool, in which they recognized that students traveling to and from campus during breaks to go to the airport often were taking their own Uber or driving their own car. And that was creating a lot of unnecessary carbon emissions. And so they developed an idea for an app uh, called Bula Pool in which students could coordinate ride sharing uh, and that therefore reducing greenhouse gas emissions. And then you can go to the next slide. Uh, Pro Green was a team that developed the idea of a high protein leaf concentrate as a food product, um, which would reduce pressure on forests, reduce deforestation, um, and therefore reduce carbon emissions. And it being a high protein plant-based option would um, reduce the greenhouse gas emissions from animal products and really intensive agriculture. So those are just some ideas. Um, there are so many different solutions that could be developed, um, but we wanted to give some ideas to spark some thought. Um, if any of you have ideas when you're applying, you can include them. Okay, you can go to the next slide. Okay, so we just wanted to give some updates on the application. So the application is released today, which is really exciting. Um, and like Annalise just mentioned, if you have an idea for a specific innovation um, that you would like to work on um, in this program, you can share that in your application. There is a space. And if not, um, there's also a space for you to let us know like what kind of climate innovations you really wanna work on um, so that we can keep that in mind when making the teams. Uh, the application is going to be due on December 12th, and then the week of December 14th, we'll send out acceptances um, to everyone who's been accepted into the program. And then like we've mentioned before, session zero, um, which will be for all students who are not YSC first years, although YSC first years are welcome to join if they want to, um, will be January 27th. And then session one is February 3rd. And before that session one, um, you'll be receiving the team that you'll be working with uh, throughout the quarter. And then there's a link to um, the application, but we can, I don't know if someone can post that in the chat and then that will be on the CSG webpage as well. I'll share it in the chat. Thanks. And then just um, finally, before we open up for any questions, we just want to let you know the expectations for this program. So we do expect that each participant will attend every session. Um, and then just so you know that some outside group work is expected, although we've been really conscious about building a lot of time um, into the class schedule for group work uh, this upcoming quarter. And that is all that we have to share. Um, so I will stop sharing now and then we can open the floor to any questions that you might have. Um, I have a question, thanks everyone. So have any of these project teams gone on to compete in some of Yale's startup pitches for competitions? And do you wanna answer that one? Yeah, I'll let Peter jump in too. Peter has has led various iterations of this and has kind of the longest um, history with the with the program and it's had multiple forms and names over time. Um, but I know that uh, a couple a couple of the participants from from last year's program uh, applied for the startup Yale prize competitions. Um, one kind of using kind of ideas and tools from the um, program to to work on another venture, and one uh, of the ventures was an, an applicant in in startup Yale. Um, we also, um, you know, we encourage folks who participated in the program to apply for the climate innovation grants, which are somewhat earlier stage grants that happen in the subsequent fall, and and we've had some applications from from the program go into those. 
a lot of the ideas that we've seen have not gone forward. A lot of the, I'd say the majority of students who've participated have really appreciated the ideation exercise, the teamwork exercise, the skills and frameworks and connections that they gain from the program and haven't felt the need to, to you know, work full time on their ventures. And that's certainly not the expectation. Uh, I think one other example I, I'll give before letting Peter chime in with others is that sometimes the ideas from here are carried forward in other ways. We've got a project called the Collabathon that we we sponsor and, and support at, at CBay, which is where these um, teams around the world get together to build a digital infrastructure for climate action tracking. And some of the genesis of that program that was then carried forth by CBay staff came from one of the, uh, the teams in the uh, climate solutions generator. Uh, and so they kind of come, came out with this idea. They partnered with some folks at Yale and, and some folks at Yale carried that forward into to a structure that is, that is now continuing uh, to this day. I even had the chance to present that work at the climate conference in Madrid last December. So it was really cool to see kind of an idea that started in the climate solutions generator had different evolutions and, and iterations, but to actually bring that to one of the, the preeminent conversations on, on global climate action. Peter, or Peter, do you have other examples you can Yeah, give? no, I, I was actually, I was just thinking of the, the, the collabathon sort of, uh, sort of, uh, sort of jumped to my mind as this like sort of an idea, it's almost like, this is the start of ideas. And then where do people take them? It's not always in a startup with the original team. Um, I think there's another one um, on kelp um, and the ability to sort of, uh, you know, sort of for carbon storage uh, with kelp. And then, but then that person went off, it was more of a career rather than um, uh, something else, uh, than a startup with the, the four. Um, the, the other, the other thing is quite interesting is that like sometimes some people come in with almost like a, an idea that they want to have others sort of just weigh in on and then others come in wanting to learn. And, and, and so quite a lot of our application and then the matching process is trying to get the right mix of those that want to jump onto an idea and help with it and bring just whatever they've got to that idea. And those that have got an idea that they know want tested and built. Um, and, and so that's a sort of sort of the, some of the spirit that I think has been obvious in the last few years. It's been really rewarding. I think it's, it's really, I also just want to sort of double click on the thought of this as Seabay and Sci City partnership here is that it, it's like even for those that are sort of MEMs and, and YSC, like, like, like this is your, this is their life slash career or your life, your career. Um, it's pairing that, that sort of that, that sort of uh, degree track with, you know, sort of Yale College and divinity and uh, art and architecture. And, and it's, it, it's the sort of the, the, the combination of those brains and those different levels of, uh, of knowledge on certain aspects of, of, of life that I think is sort of create some of the magic uh, for this uh, generator. Is there like a catalog of past participant ideas that we could look at? That's a great, it's a great question because I was almost going to private message Ben and say, can you send me to the catalog and I'll see if I, I, if I know what's happened to any of the, any of the, I think, what was it? That's probably three to four, three, at least three, four years uh, plus uh, X teams. We should create a catalog. That's a good, uh, if we don't have one already. Ben, do we have a, do we have a master list? No, we don't have one, uh, but we, we should. We, and probably, we could work we, on we, one for the spring. Yeah, we probably could with sort of ten Google slides from you know, like the last three years. Uh, we could sort of put it together in a in a in a big run. Uh, but that's a great, great great question. The other the other thing, just on the sort of idea of a sort of a, uh, I think somebody said it already really well about this idea of like like what's the output at the end? Is it a green biz article? Is it a blog? Is it a sort of a, a business plan? I mean, it's just like where that goes is, is really quite interesting. You know, like, like that might be the rappers, like the world needs X and you and, and you as a, as, a, as a variety of brains and passions around a t a, like a virtual table for a term have thought about what the world needs. And sometimes that's enough to you know, like, who knows what that sparks out in the real world when it, when it does la launch as a blog post or a green biz post. Um, the, just, I don't want to pick up the, the there's also a, a, a question in the chat on timeline and courses. Um, we, we've we've tried to do the time in the past around sort of almost like the least likely time to clash with anybody's lectures. So it was almost like an early evening in prior years. I don't know if anyone wants to speak to that and on the student team, like how how we're how we're gonna sort of plot the timing in in people's weeks. Yeah, so I think trying to keep along similar um, vein as as last year, um, but we 
We did, I think, Victoria, if you saw Annalise's answer, we're gonna reply um, with acceptances the week, I think the application's due on a Saturday. And so that next week um, we'll have acceptances out. So you would know um, before any um, class sign up has to happen. Yeah, and the day of the week thing, we recognize it's really, really hard to find a time that works for everyone, but um, through the different iterations of this program, it's it's been realized that Wednesday evenings tend to be um, a time that has less con less least conflict. Hi, just a quick question. I think Peter, you started speaking to this uh, a little while ago, but could someone just expand a little bit more on kind of how the teams are put together and constructed, and like uh, just walk me through what would happen between being set to the program and the week zero starting um just so, just so i can think about that yeah so in the application um you'll be able to indicate which area specifically you're interested in so um we're planning on making groups based off of people's responses to that question and um planning on sending out teams prior to the start of the program so you'd be able to connect with others Yeah, and just to reiterate, if you have an idea, a potential climate solution, please include that in your application, even if it is just an idea. Um, these are awesome to know about and they can really spark and you can get the support you need through this. Um, we'll try and create teams surrounded by um, uh, common interests and diverse skill sets. But if there is a specific idea that a lot of people have the skill sets and interests that might be able to work on it. We'll try to make a team to help that happen. Looks like someone raised their hand. Did they put it down though? Yeah, that was me. Oh, okay, hi. <laughs> All right, yeah. So I guess I was just wondering about whenever we're like assembling teams, if like it's taken into consideration that like undergraduates may not have like as many, you know, or as like, extensive experiences as like, you know, some of the people from like professional schools or if there's like a balance that tries to be struck between like, you know, accepting undergrads and accepting graduate students? It'll really depend on the applicant pool, but um, we recognize that undergrads have a wealth of their own experiences that are different and different skill sets that students at professional schools um, might have a different skill set. So, um, yeah, we we love having both undergrads and grad students, so we encourage everyone to apply. Yeah, I just I, I, I double uh, sort of down on that as well, Bennett. Thanks for your question, because I, I think I, I can't remember a time when we've screened out an application because of lack of experience. Like the only time we've encouraged somebody to either reapply or say this doesn't look like for you is is an obvious lack of enthusiasm. So, so as long as enthusiasm comes through on the application, it's just like, you know, sort of that, that you know, sort of we, we really endeavor to put the teams together, um, you know, sort of because it is that mixture of ideas and you, you, it's almost like you sort of, you, you don't know how useful your question could be. Um, say you're sort of on this call and you don't know much about climate at all, but you got lots of questions, that's excellent. Like, like bring your enthusiasm and your questions that could be just as useful to a team that uh, you know, sort of, and, and a person who's been working on something for a while. Um, so I think I think that's that that's the only hurdle we've ever sort of I think sort of screened out on is the sort of lack of enthusiasm. Think also just just I don't know I'm I'm sort of thinking of this this time in history and this difficult year where this is a, like an online co collaboration heavy uh, course by you know, sort of uh, you know intensive by its necessity this time around. Um, but just also think of the great stuff that's happened in the youth movement since we did this uh, like a year ago. Um, <clears throat> just on the Outrage and Optimism podcast that Christiana Figueres does, you know, she had Shia Bastida on, on, on the line and the stuff she's managed to do, you know, sort of age 18 um, and, you know, sort of, and, and obviously Greta and, and many others. So, so just like, don't ever think like your lack of years on the planet uh, sort of, sort of precludes you from getting involved. It's, uh, I think it's passion. 
I'll just chime in with one more thing here, which is some free application advice. If you're applying to this program or any other climate program and you don't mention the word climate or climate change, you're probably not demonstrating enthusiasm. And that's something we've seen before. And I'm not saying just like throw the word climate change in there every other word, but you know, make sure you reference the, um, the problem that, that this is all about. I'm curious, who at this info session, if, if people wanna send in the chat, if you're, what school you're in or what your major is? if you're at Yale College. Awesome. Well, those come in. Does anyone else have a question? I guess I do just have like a, another question, just like about the format of this in the spring, given that it's going to be on Zoom because of the situation we're in. How do you see that like changing the interaction that we're going to have like between our own teammates and potentially like interacting and being able to learn about the ideas that the other teams are working on as well? Really great question. Um, so we'll have like the lectures at the beginning of the session, um, which will be like as it would normally be just on Zoom. And then the end of this session will always be group work, but we're trying to figure out in like some sort of break time um, in the middle to have like just open um, socializing. So people can, you know, take a break um, from Zoom if they need to, but if they want to kind of hang out um, on the Zoom, we'll have, some sort of activity or something um, for everyone to kind of get to know each other a little bit better. If folks have more questions that they are not thinking of right now, but they would like to ask prior to submitting their applications, how can they do that? They can email one of us. We'll put our emails in the chat and I will repost the application link for those who joined uh, recently. I also just shared the um, Climate Solutions Generator website on CBAY, um, so you can find more information there and refer to the emails there. Great. And who did, are we ready to officially close things out? Um, I'm happy to stay on for a little bit longer if the, the student coordinating team can do that as well. Sometimes folks are a little shy and have questions once a lot of the group has subsided. Mm -hmm. I know Peter has to run to class. Uh, to Thank you very much. Yep. Yep. Thanks see for you, joining see you all soon. Peter. All the best, everybody. See you in January, mm -hmm. if not before. <laughs> Bye, Peter. Great, thank you all. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Um, we did get a question about how many projects does CSG support in the semester? Really as many, uh, we'll have teams of probably around four or five students. So I'm guessing we'll probably have around five different projects. 